morning everyone if you don't know me my name is Heidi well I've been wanting to share with you girls my summer makeup look which happens to be very minimal usually around this time around the summertime I do try to kind of incorporate some clean products into my routine I tried to wear less um, for example right now I'm not wearing any foundation I did put a little bit of um, concealer right here and I did my eyebrows and I've done my eyes which is very basic stuff but in terms of my skin um i pretty much just prepped my skin which i think is super super important when you're i mean it's important year round but especially when you're trying to do less makeup and just going for a minimal look prepping your skin is super super important which i've already done i put my shiseido cream my vitamin c serum and um sunblock because that's super super important and yeah that's pretty much it so i'm gonna go ahead and share with you girls um some new products that i've been using so if you've watched my channel before you will have heard me speak about merit i mean this is a brand that i'm very familiar with that i spoke about in my beauty vlog that i absolutely love um it's a vegan clean brand that focuses on amino acids and antioxidants that deposit moisture in your skin so it's a brand that i very very much love so when they reached out to me to kindly give me um some new products which i have right here i of course was elated because i knew i'd be receiving something that i would love like i said i'm a huge fan of the company and um so yeah i can't wait to show you um what i have here and as you can see it comes in this beautiful little bag which i already have one let me show you some of the products last year and i think this little corduroy bag comes um comes with your products the first time you order from the actual website which is merit website not from the sephora website so it's super super cute i love this because this is something that um you can just kind of toss it's double lined it's a cute little sort of like a corduroy type of material and um yeah i'm probably going to be gifting my mom one of these because now i have this one which they kindly sent to me um but yeah if you are the type of person that um maybe um has never used clean products before do try to incorporate just a little bit here and there i cannot say that everything i use is absolutely clean but i do try to incorporate some clean products into my routine because i just think it's it's smart it's taking care of your skin you have one face for the rest of your life so you obviously want to take care of it and you don't have to just have everything clean you can start off with a couple of products kind of get your feet wet um you know maybe tweak your makeup routine and i promise you it goes a long long way you will see a huge difference on your skin and you're just gonna love it like i do but i'm gonna start off with the first um i'm gonna start off with my favorite product that they've sent me so i cannot tell you how much i love this this is by far my favorite so far and it's called the um day glow and it's basically honestly i've never tried um a high it's a highlighter i got mine in the color bounce which has a little bit of a of pink in it if you can see i've never ever tried a highlighter that not only stays put because it doesn't move it literally sinks in your skin doesn't move with other products or anything like that and it stays the whole day but what i love about it is that essentially it's a moisturizer it's like a moisturizing balm for your face i was pleasantly surprised when i used this because i was just going to use it as a highlighter for these just right here and for my nose but i ended up kind of doing my own thing with it and using it um all over my face basically what it has it has an olive fruit oil and vitamin e and trust me you feel this on your skin that's what i personally love about it but i have to mention one thing before i even put it on and show you girls what i do with it because i think this is important i never hear anyone talk about this some clean products do have um certain ingredients that make you prone to acne they just induce acne so what i love about merit is that they pay attention to detail when it comes to their formulation and They've gotten rid of all the ingredients that cause acne. So if you're a person that does um, get acne easily or is prone to acne, this is a 
clean vegan um, line that you can use that will not make you break out which I personally love because I don't need to be walking around with a bunch of pimples so what I do with this is I kind of just I'm gonna look at myself in the mirror but I'll explain to you I don't just put it right here which is where you put a highlighter I kind of just apply it pretty much everywhere and as you can see I'm putting this on first I'm not um, using anything else i don't have any foundation this is all i'm putting on you could already see how beautiful this is without me even blending it um but i'm very generous with this the only spot i don't put it on is underneath my eye because i don't like that part of my face to be shiny and then with my fingers i'm gonna use my hand just because this blends nicer when you use your hand but basically, I'm literally just going to lightly tap it all over my skin. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. And if you could feel what I'm feeling, because you could feel the sensation of just moisturizing your face. It just feels so, so nice on your face. And that's what surprised me, because when I first received this, I was not aware of that. I thought this was just a highlighter and that's it. So I was going to just use it, um, you know, just on like main points right here. But as I said, now I use it all over my face because not only is it moisturizing my face, but it looks so, so beautiful. I look fresh face like, and that's what I love. I love glowy type of makeup, but that is moisturizing your skin, especially in the summer. Um, and just looks pretty like you're taking care of your skin maybe you can really appreciate that but it's just such a pretty pretty look i'm obsessed this is this is my favorite if you get nothing else do get this product because it's just beautiful and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my um minimalist stick by merit this is another great product so basically if you're the type of person that wants to use foundation or wants to conceal a little you can use this as a foundation because this is really whatever you want it to be it could be a foundation it could be a concealer it could be both and the best thing about this you can just toss this in your purse and reapply throughout the day if you like however you like i love that that's that's one of the things i love about merit products is it's small um it's practical the packaging and you could just like i said toss this in your purse and just reapply throughout the day if you like but the color that i got is um amber and i got this darker color i'm going to show it to you the reason why i got this color is because i wanted to use this slightly different so one of the things that i focus on when i'm trying to go for like a minimal look is i always try to um focus on color depositing color in my face to me that's super super important in any routine but especially when you're trying to go for a minimal look you want color in your face kind of like when you're five and your cheeks are rosy and your lips are naturally tinted that's what i focus on so with this what i do is i take my mac 188 and you could use your brush i have a beautiful brush which i may purchase but this one's also really great to just like apply in those spots i'm gonna look at myself here this is more as a bronzer slash contouring which i am not a huge fan of contouring i've said this before i don't like the idea of completely changing my face by contouring it because i don't want to take it off at the end of the day and look completely different i just don't like that feeling so but i do like to accentuate um my cheekbones just a little bit oh my god this is so pretty i'm gonna put a little bit more here because i have more on the other side which i can't really see but as you can see this is a very very beautiful um kind of bronzy oh my gosh this is so pretty I'm, I'm so happy that it's kind of picking up the way it should on camera because that's kind of tricky sometimes that's why i'm using natural lighting so you can see but um this is beautiful and this stays put okay this does not move the whole day um i'm even considering getting the actual um color of my skin to use it a little bit as a foundation because like i said i don't have any foundation right now but i could use one for like a little bit of concealment here and there um but i do like this look just like this i'm actually really trying to embrace my freckles and i'm actually starting to like them finally um but yeah that's what i do 
I put a little bit here. And as you can see, it's just beautiful. It looks so, so pretty. Like I said, my color is amber, the one I chose for this, for sort of like a bronzy type of color. As you can see, it's so, so pretty. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with my Flush Balm, which I purchased this about a year ago. And this is something that I always have in my purse. I've said this before. If I'm moving my stuff from one purse to the next, this is going in there because this is so practical. I love it. And sometimes I use it on my lips. So basically, this is something that, again, you could use on your cheeks. You can use on your lips. That's one thing I love about Merit is that they make products that you can use um, however you like. And I've used this both ways. But today, I'm going to be using it on my cheeks to again deposit a little bit of um, rosiness to my cheek that's gonna um, blend in very nicely with um, the amber that I just put on right here as a bronzer so I'm gonna do the same actually I'm gonna be generous because this just kind of it really just kind of seeps into your skin so it may be scary at first when you see this much um, blush but I promise you it'll all come together so same thing, I go in with my hand. Um, I just really like using my hand with these products because first of all, it feels nice on my hand. <laughs> I feel like my hand is getting moisturized as I use them, but also um, it just blends really, really nicely. But you could use a brush and they have a brush that you can um, use to blend everything in, which is really nice. Um, but I, like I said, do like to just use my hand and um, as you can see, look how pretty my cheek looks. Like It just looks so pretty. It's like I have a little bit of makeup on, I have color, I don't look pale, but it's subtle. I absolutely love that. And that's pretty much it. Oh, and now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and do my um, eyelashes, and then I'm gonna go to the last product. But I'm gonna do that really quick, because i have said this before i make the ugliest faces when i'm doing my eyelashes my liner <laughs> but yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and do it really quick okay ladies so i did my eyelashes i don't have very very long eyelashes or anything like that but um i work with what i have <laughs> so yeah and i just use my usual stuff that I've spoken about before. I just kind of use this to um, curl them up a little bit and and my CoverGirl mascara and that's it. So, okay, now for this other product from Merit. First of all, let me just show you the packaging on this. Look how beautiful this is. I mean, again, another thing I love about Merit is just their packaging. It's so, so beautiful. So my lipstick is in the color Millennial and let me just show you the color when i tell you this is the most beautiful lipstick color ever i'm not lying to you so much so that i have a little story about this i wore this about a week ago i saw my mom we went to go have coffee we were gonna run some errands and i wore this lipstick and mom if you're watching you know this story already <laughs> And when she saw this on my lips, she's like, Heidi, what are you wearing? Because I need it. So to make the story short, she went into Sephora and she got this color. Plus, I think she also got a color called Soft Berry, which is a little bit tinted. This one's more pink. But she's like, Heidi, it's the best lipstick I've ever used. Just like that. And my mom is just like me. She's really into beauty products. She doesn't hesitate to try new things because she's always trying to see if there's something out there that she hasn't tried out. And she has thanked me a million and one times. She's a huge fan. And I think next she'll probably be buying this one from what I hear. But she fell in love with this lipstick. And I'm gonna show you because this is so beautiful. And I've said this before, I have the driest lips on the face of the earth. This little beauty right here is so moisturizing. It's just beautiful. You could use it like just like this, like that, which I do sometimes just to tint it, but I love this lipstick so, so much that I apply this over and over again because I just love the color. But let me show you. It's kind of balmy. It feels beautiful on your lips. Ladies, 
tell me that you don't like this color because <laughs> i will be shocked i think this is so beautiful it's just enough pink i don't know it just looks natural it looks beautiful um i look like someone that takes care of myself but i didn't overdo it i still look like me um i love this this is so so pretty i mean this to me really ties everything in together and sometimes i will go in with um my merit lip tint which this one is a little bit glossier i'll go ahead and show you but lately i've just been wearing the lipstick just like this because I'm obsessed with this lipstick. I'm definitely gonna be getting other colors in this lipstick because it just moisturizes your lips and just feels so, so great. And they have beautiful, beautiful colors. I will go ahead and link my specific colors and my um, products down below. And I'm also going to link um, my, uh, going to put my unique link so you could just click on there and easily take you into Merit and all their products. Um, do let me know if you do decide to get something because I think that you're going to love this. Such a beautiful, beautiful combo. Let me just kind of do this. I love this. I feel like I did something good for my skin. My skin feels really nice, really um, soft and shiny and pretty and I still feel like I look like myself I feel refreshed moisturized I mean I love this I think this is such a great summer look and honestly I probably do this in the winter as well just because I personally love um, how my face feels and how it looks with this the colors all work together it just looks so beautiful like I said I don't have foundation but if you're a person that feels like um, maybe more comfortable with foundation try out the, uh, the minimalistic this is a great way to um you know still use clean products and have your foundation to make you feel more comfortable i think everyone has a different level of comfort when it comes to their face and that's okay um but for me i i feel great without the foundation because miami is sticky and icky and really really hot in the summer and i just don't like the feeling of foundation i really honestly don't not in the summer this i'd be okay with because it just feels nice it feels like i'm moisturizing my face but um actual foundation on my face in the summer especially here in miami it's just something i don't like i don't like the feelings let me know in the comments if you do decide to get something if you have any questions um i love um what they represent they're actual the little card that they send me so the antidote to the oversaturated world of beauty. And this is so, so true because I really, really feel like sometimes less is more. You know? It's sad when I see so many beautiful girls um, saturate their face with makeup and then by the end of the day, they take it off and they're self-conscious. And they're just as beautiful without it, but they're self-conscious because they've put so much makeup that of course, once they take it off, they feel like completely different. That's always been a thing for me because I had an experience with that when I was younger. My mom took me to a makeup artist for my prom. And I swear to you, I can't look at those pictures even today because I look like a completely different person. My eyes were super made up. You could barely see like my actual eyeballs. That's how much makeup I had on. And I promised myself that I would never allow myself to look like that again and thank god i had that experience because for my wedding i still look at my wedding pictures and feel happy because it looks like me i didn't change the way that i looked and i'm so glad that i did that because i cannot tell you how many friends i have that look back on their photos and they're like oh my gosh i look like a different human and you know makeup is there to just enhance your beauty and just make you feel beautiful but not necessarily it shouldn't be there to like change the way that you look because no one's perfect we all have flaws believe me i have a million and one so <laughs> i'm not one to talk but um sad um a little goes a long way so what i'm gonna be doing for today is i'm going to be going to Bashore, which is basically it's like a little um kind of like a it's like a little deli. I mean, you could just eat. Um, they have different things to eat, but what I've eaten there um, is a croissant. And I've never been a croissant type of person. Like, I just, I never been. 
but the moment that I tried <laughs> their croissant I'm like a croissant monster like this is I dream of this so much so that the other day I went to Starbucks and I got I actually posted it on my um, Instagram story um, I got a chocolate croissant but it just it was good but it wasn't but sure good you know it wasn't it wasn't it didn't give me that thing this is the best croissant you'll ever have so I'm gonna go ahead and meet a friend there um, I am taking little Farrah right now she was taking her nap she should be waking up any minute now I'm gonna change her I'm gonna take your girls with me um, and yeah, just enjoy this beautiful day. All right, ladies, I forgot to mention that I always um, put my little um, beauty elixir by Caudalie on top of this, especially when I'm wearing something more subtle like this because it just kind of stays the whole day. So, just wanted to tell you. Go like this. Let it dry. And your makeup will stay put the whole day. <laughs> So yeah, and I'm going to wear my YSL Libre, which I think I'm going to be kind of retiring this a little bit for the summer because I feel like it's a little, it's a little too strong for the summer. And I have a new summer scent that I'm going to be talking about in my summer haul, which is going to be my next video. I'm excited for that. But for today, I'm going to wear, I'm going to wear this one just because, you know, just because. And I don't want to put too much on because um, I have my earrings on. I've spoken about that before and which leads me to a little update on my um Missouri pieces this is the verme piece that i spoke about in the disney vlog it's holding out really really nice as you can see it hasn't tarnished i'm very happy with it i know one of you did purchase it so let me know how it goes with that um someone on my instagram but and of course i'm wearing my bracelets and my little earrings from Missouri as well so I'm going to head out. Oh, also, I forgot to mention that later on, hopefully today, hopefully this is going to be just like a one day vlog, but um, I'm going to be talking about a new summer bag that I, um, well, I didn't recently get it. I actually got it a couple months ago before it sold out and I just kind of tucked it away because I was saving it for the summer. But by now you would have seen the thumbnail already. You probably know which one it is but I'm going to be reviewing it and talking about it a little bit more, so I can't wait. But I'm gonna head out before it gets too late.
ladies so it's the next day um and i'm actually kind of in a rush because i'm heading out to the office today to help my husband a little bit my mom's downstairs with the baby so um but i really wanted to talk about my chloe woody bag which is the summer bag that she's been kind of tucked away and my little secret that i've had for the past couple of months um but yeah this bag oh uh, can i just tell you this bag was on my wish list since last year and then finally when i did decide to purchase it it was sold out everywhere everywhere on the chloe website and a porte sacks everywhere i could not find it if my life depended on it so then the summer passed and i just kind of forgot about it and um then this spring i started thinking about it again and i was like you know what i am going to take the plunge because this bag has hasn't left my head i'm still thinking about it let me just go for it but when i purchased it i still was kind of like do i really want to pay 700 bucks for something that is um you know pretty much a seasonal bag which truthfully for me living in miami i could just wear this year round truthfully but it's more of a spring and summer type of bag so i did kind of think about it i wasn't sure i said why not and I'm so, so glad that I did because honestly, this is the type of bag that if, if you can go to the store, if you have um, a store close to you, a Chloe store or a Neiman Marcus that carries this bag, go to the store and see it because it's the type of bag that you really have to touch and look in person because this, this bag is so much better in person. Like pictures and video do not do it justice. The quality in this bag is premium like i can see the money i can see and touch it in this bag it's just a beautiful bag but i mean i love the aesthetic of the bag i love the black and white logo because i feel like this is something that is more of a neutral this could go with so many outfits in fact i would wear it with this this is not a bag that you just that you can only wear to the beach or a resort you could wear this countless ways i've worn it with white dresses and it looks so so beautiful um black trousers and a button down it's just a beautiful bag but let me get closer so you could see how thick this is like this is such a great material this is the type of bag that will last you a lifetime honestly it's an investment it's like i said high quality it's thick it's sturdy it's just beautiful and they also added some leather on the bottom so that if you place it you're not damaging the bottom which i think is so clever and so thoughtful i think that's makes this bag so much easier to carry it's a practical bag and then it has a little bit of leather on the straps as well and these straps also this is the other thing that these straps when i first got it i was pleasantly surprised because i was thinking they were going to be just like flimsy no this is very very thick um just it's just great like this is a bag that will like i said last year year after year you could just throw it and it'll be fine you could even put this on the floor which i never do anyways because i'm neurotic like that but um yeah it's a bag that will really hold up and then the inside there's a lot of space as you can see i have my organizer that i usually use for my saint laurent canvas bag um, my Rive Gauche because I like to have things very very organized just kind of easily accessible I have my Burberry wallet in here um, I have my my makeup and things like that and then I also have my coach notebook which I also carry with me but there's still space for like a towel bottles whatever you want to put in it and so actually let me take this out so you could see the amount of space in here it's quite spacious as you can see there's a lot of space but like i said i really do like to put these little inserts and you can get this in amazon i'll see if i can link some um down below they're very affordable and um i just switch them around from bag to bag but i love this bag it's beautiful and honestly another thing that i let me see where my phone is because i want to read something to girls hang on i'm gonna get it <laughs> okay so I have to read this i don't know if i'm the only one that really cares about little details like this but i'm gonna go ahead and read it anyways just in case you relate because i actually went on the website to try to understand the fabric so i could explain it better to you and i learned a little bit more about this bag which now makes me like it so much more but basically what it says is okay this handbag is woven from natural fiber in collaboration with mifuko which empowers its artisans in kenya 
through fair pay and less dependence on unpredictable farming as a source of income. Each basket is a unique handmade piece that weaves together traditional Kenyan handcraft and the story of a strong, independent woman whose signature you will find on the label. Ladies, I love this. Like This makes me like this bag so much more. I mean, the fact that it's giving jobs to women, um, it's empowering them, it's making them feel good about themselves, sign me up. And I got this beautiful bag. Like, come on, doesn't get any better than that. And actually, let me show you because I did look. <laughs> the signature for Fair Trade is on the actual label, which I love. I absolutely love. I think it's good if you're a consumer and you know you can afford to buy certain things that are nice. It's great to know that you are helping others in the process. So that's pretty much it for my little bag the only drawback is that it is sold out i did check like i said i checked right before i started filming um but they're very good especially the chloe um website is good at like of course replenishing their products so i would just hit the little notification button you know add your email and they'll just let you know but i'll go ahead and link the chloe website on there and i will see if maybe i could find it in a porte or farfetch you never know there may be one or two and you can purchase it um but do keep looking at the website because they do like i said they do come back and on the website it says coming soon and they have the one that has like multiple colors so um if you like that then you could go for that one but me personally i really like this very clean aesthetic because i feel like this is something that i could just wear countless ways but that's pretty much it i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here if you haven't noticed you could tell i'm kind of like <laughs> rushing through the end of this vlog but i really want to get this up and i'm going to start working on my summer haul probably this weekend um i'm excited for this one because it is a little different from my usual hauls it's going to be a little bit of everything i usually just do like outfits and stuff but now i'm going to have clutches and shoes and beauty a little bit of everything because let's face it we're all so excited for summer especially after everything that we've been through with COVID and all this stuff. So I can't wait. So if you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do so right now. I really would appreciate you supporting my channel so I can continue doing this. I really loving creating content. So hopefully you girls will go ahead and join me and leave a comment, a question. I would love to connect with you girls. And of course, follow me on my Instagram at House of Heidi Miami. And I will go ahead and see you girls next time. Bye.